Welcome back. Now, inside of the newsletter settings, the RSS to email settings, or even the autoresponder settings, you have the opportunity of integrating those messages with your social media. And you can do that in the distribution settings. And we have opened the distribution settings in this newsletter. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the share area and I'm going to click add Twitter account. Now, when you click that button, GetResponse is going to use your browser to look for the account that you have open in your browser presently. So if you know you're going to want to have a specific account associated with your GetResponse, or you're going to want to have a message posted to that account, you want to have that open in the browser where you're using GetResponse. Once you do that and you get this screen, you're going to click Authorize App. That will then turn Twitter on for this particular message. You can do the same thing for your Facebook account. And what you can do is you can actually click Add Account. Now you may find if you click this account that nothing happens. And if that's the case, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go out to your profile. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to the Get Response Profile. And then we're going to go to the Manage Account area and then we're going to click Integrations and API. What we're going to do is we're going to click this link for Facebook. And then we're going to click Connect Facebook Account. Get Response will then get a message from Facebook asking if you can connect. You'll say yes. And then Get Response will ask to be able to post on your account. You'll say yes. Then you'll click OK. And then your Get Response account will be connected to Facebook. And basically, you'll be able to share any newsletter or survey on your Facebook account. Now, you can also connect other Facebook accounts that you have and all you'll need to do is you'll need to click this connect another account button within the Facebook tab. Now when you are within your message parameters you can turn on Twitter and you can actually turn on Facebook now also. Okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video.